gather round and listen to this tale. Heed my every word, or you could all be murdered in your beds. I thought we were here to plan the Founders' Day party. Shh! But there won't be a party. Not if you're all blighted by the Founders' Day curse. <laughs> Tomorrow is the 1,000th anniversary of the foundation of Cackles. And on this day, if a witch flies anti-clockwise three times around the school, then Cackles Academy will crumble into dust. <laughs> that is such rubbish. Don't worry, Dennis. It's just a story. What do you know, Hubble? I know it would take more than some stupid curse to destroy Cackles. It's been here for a 1,000 years, and it'll be here for another 1,000. Here, here. <laughs> I don't think I can take much more of this. Miss Hardbroom, I was just... I know what you were doing, Belladonna. And for once, I agree with Henrietta. You girls must ignore such ridiculous fabrication. Now go to bed. But, Miss Hardbroom... Don't worry, Dillis. The school is quite safe. The school is in terrible danger, Mr Bloom. It is writ that if a thousand years hence a witch flies, anti-clockwise, thrice around the castle, then cackles will be no more. But who'd do that? There are bad witches out there, Miss Widget. Witches who hate this school and would do anything to destroy it. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Miss Swoop. Did I make you jump? I'm not too, uh, not too keen on evil old witches. But, uh, not you, Miss Hardbrook. I mean, the ones in the curse. So, it's curtains for cackles, eh? Not a bit of it. Miss Hardbroom and I will set up a protective barrier around the school through which no bad witch can pass. The rest of you carry on as normal. The last thing we want to do is alarm the girls. Look at cackles, Constance. It's been there for a thousand years, keeping young witches safe. Yet if one bad witch should resolve to fulfill the curse, don't worry, headmistress. Once the barrier is in place, no one will be able to get near to Cackles to do it any harm. Sure you're right, Constance. I just fear there may be something we've overlooked. Come on, girls, fast you can. Quickly, get back to your classes. Uh, classrooms, absolutely nothing to worry about. Write a psychology paper on this place, but no one would believe it. Everyone's just excited about the Founders Day celebrations. I can't wait to see what Miss Cackles got planned. Something amazing, I bet. But then again, I don't believe it. Cackles Academy is a thousand years old and they haven't given us a day off. Why would you want a day off for the exams coming up? There should be fireworks and a barbecue and dancing elephants. And what do we get instead? One boring verse of the boring school song by the boring school choir. Hi, Dillis. Where are you going? Quiet practice. You want a Rama? Who wants to listen to that? They haven't even invited the old girls. It's like they want to keep it as low key as possible. We'll stuff the choir. We can make our own celebration. Great. I'll bring some bean kids and the yeast extract tartlets. And I'll bring the stomach pump. Come on. I think there's something in the way. Sending yourself Valentine's again. I told you, it was just a freak coincidence that handwriting looked like mine. Anyway, this isn't a Valentine. Look. You didn't tell me you'd applied to Pentangle School. Last, I can get away from this crummy dump and everyone in it. Can't anything make you stay? Why, yes, of course, you're right, Horrocks. I haven't packed. So, what have we come up with? I have 137 ideas. Revision timetable. Do we love a chicken? Hurry up, girls. I'm in charge today, as Miss Hardbroom is um, otherwise engaged. That's weird. She's never missed a lesson before. There's silence. Silence, I say. Right. Question one. Who can tell me what lesson this is? Potions. 
You're really uh, correct. But what are you waiting for? Make a potion. Is this choir practice? Dillis! Excellent. Right then, I have some incredibly exciting news for you. <laughs> the choir won't be singing the school song for the Founders' Day. Because of the curse? Well, let's call it a health and safety issue. <laughs> Anyway, as I say, the school song won't be sung by the whole choir so much as by, well, you! Me? <laughs> it's a tremendous opportunity to shine under the blazing lights on stage in front of the entire school. Are you a strong singer, Dillis? No. Excellent! Excellent! Right, after three. One, two... Uh, um... Um, was ever... Oh. Happiness potion, invisibility potion, potion to turn your enemy into slugs. Done it, done it, been there, done it, bought the t-shirt. There must be something we haven't made before. Hey, Dillis. Miss Witcher wants me to sing a solo. But when I stand there, or on my own, I just clam up. Great. So the one thing they have planned for Founders Day isn't going to happen either. Sounds like a classic case of stage fright, Dennis. What you need is a confidence potion. That's it. We'll make a confidence potion. Well, you won't find one in there. How do you know? Because I read it. Well, how about this then? A transformation potion. Makes you the opposite of what you are. Makes fat people thin, tall people small, and happy people sad. And shy people confident. We better make a lot. Shall I feed your cat? I can feed it to swoops out for all I care. What are you doing outside? I'm going to pen. No one is going anywhere today. But I've got an I said no one. But get inside, pair of you. Yes, Miss Cattle. Yes, Miss Cackle. Back bag. It's done. Open wide. Now, Dillis, there is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Nothing's happening. Wait. What is it? Wow. Do you feel any different? Onward, ever striving onward, proudly on our thrones we fly. Dillis must have seen. Stop that singing at once. Stop it, I say. It, what, then? Never a day will pass before us when we have not tried. I didn't say anything about making save people lunatics. One to be avoided, I think. Just think what you could do with this. You can make cruel people kind, bad people good. Do you know what would make my last day here perfect? If the curse came true and destroyed this dump once and for all. It could even make Belladonna nice. Shut it, Hubble. Listen, Hetty, we've done a really nice thing for Dillis. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Come on, we better go and find her before she sings anyone to death. <laughs> I wonder what the opposite of me would be. Come on, Hetty. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I'll just get rid of this and then I'll catch you up. Get rid of what? Mind your own beeswax, Belladonna. What is that stuff? Nothing. Transformation potion. Oh, I get it. So if you're stupid, it makes you clever. If you're ugly, it makes you pretty. And if you're dry, it makes you... <gasps> wet. Try it at a lower volume and a bit further away. Straight and true above the treetop shadows. Dillis! Oh, 
dear. So much for the Founders' Day celebrations. Hetty? Just have to think of some other entertainment. Juggling, maybe. What are you doing? Why did I try that potion? Uh, because you're Hetty. So sorry to hear you've been banned from the celebrations, Hubble. Why are you, Kay? You won't be here. Oh, I don't know. I might hang around for an extra night. It'd be a shame to miss the fun. If you hate the place so much, why don't you just fulfil the curse yourself? I would, except it would be so much better to get somebody else to do it. before she does something really bad. Miss Cackle, I have a message from the cook. She needs you in the kitchen. Urgently. Very well. Don't need all the pudding, ladies. I'll be back shortly. What now? Let's think about it logically. What's the one thing Hetty normally cares about most in the world? The school. Exactly. So if she's the opposite of her normal self, what is she going to do? Destroy cackles! Cook, you wanted to see me? Hello? What is this? Open this door at once! Let me out! I know you gave Hetty some of the potion, Belladonna. Where is it? I'll tell you on a postcard from Pentangles. <clears throat> uh, girls, looking for something? Hetty, I can make an antidote. It's a potion that's making you bad. Very clever, Mona. But there's just one problem. I like being bad. Hetty, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm giving cackles a Founders Day they're going to remember. Who says curses don't come true? Provecum, Clinslorum, et Luna, et Sorum. You love cackles! Hetty! Henrietta Hubble. So long, cackles. Enjoy your curse. <laughs> Transmutating into a noxious vapour which is absorbable by inhalation. Do you what? Wow, I'm a boffin. Eh? And you're not. <laughs> Come on! Uh oh. Trouble at 12 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a crisis on our hands. Whilst we were busy guarding against bad witches from the outside, one has appeared in our very midst. Yes, and she's been bound once already. Where is Miss Cackle? Portus, Amatus, Epitatus. I love cats. 
tackled. I'll never leave. I love this school and I want to stay here forever. You might have to. You're the best, Cynthia. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you either, Bella, to have best friend, Cynthia. Friends forever, Bella. Oh, schools are scarce. We've got a school to save. Oh, she's so nice. Isn't she? Let's help them. <gasps> Summon your broomstick soup. We'll have to stop her ourselves. <laughs> What's so funny? Summon your broomstick soup. <laughs> Summon it yourself. Is everyone going mad? Miss Harpoon, I cannot apologise enough for the rudeness and insensitivity of my colleague. Please be assured she delivers that raspberry on no one's behalf but her own. Consider me entirely at your disposal. We're all going to die! <laughs> Caspian Bloom to the rescue! <laughs> Right, okay, so what have we come up with? More transformation potions? <laughs> Friendship bracelets! Do you love a chicken? <sighs> now listen to me. Stay in a group. Just follow the sound of my voice. Time's off the effort. Petty circle in the school to complete the case. Let's blast the blagger out of the skies. No! I have distilled some more transformation potions. Why? Basic logic. Transformation potion makes you the opposite of what you are, right? Hetty's good and it's made her bad. So if you take some more after you become the opposite, then you should become the opposite to the opposite. Um, transformation potion is its own antidote. It'll make Hetty good again. Miss Harbroom, you've got to fly up there and give this to Hetty. Up there? You've got to be joking. <sighs> Privacum cream florum ad luna et sorum. Founders Day. Hetty Hubble very nearly demolished the school, but then she did redeem herself somewhat by saving it in the end. But let's not forget that Hetty isn't the only one amongst us whose behaviour today was questionable. Still, one girl's love of our beloved school shone through. No pentangles for you, Belladonna dear. You will be with us at Cackles a long, long time. So, on a day when our school was nearly destroyed, Let's give thanks for the things we still have. Dillis, you may sing the school song now. <laughs> onwards, ever striving onwards, proudly on our brooms we fly. Straight and true above the treetops, shadows on a moonlit sky. Let's see, old girl. Look him 
love Drew. Learning our craft at Cackle's Academy.